Hey there, in this video we're going to look at slope specifically and how it actually affects a graph. So we've talked about how we calculate slope from two points, we've talked about calculating slope from a graph, we've talked about how we look at an equation in this slope intercept form and we pull out the m to tell us the slope. Now let's actually talk about how that affects the graph before we later get into graphing from slope intercept form. So the slope of a function is represented by m in the equation y equals mx plus b. As a reminder, slope is a measure of how steep the line is. It is a ratio of the rise to the run between two points on the line. The slope of a linear function is going to be a single number that can be positive, negative, or zero for any linear function. So looking at the effects of slope on a line. So there are really three cases for linear functions that we'll look at. If the slope of the line is positive, remember that means it's bigger than zero, it's going to visually be going up from left to right. If the slope of a line is negative, then that's going to be less than zero for the slope and that will be going down from left to right. And then the third case of a linear function would be if the slope of a line is zero, um, that is going to be a horizontal line going left to right. And again, that will be a slope of zero. Now I have a little note down here, a slope of a vertical line is going to be undefined. And technically that is not a function. So that is a line, but it's not a linear function. So that's why I say there's really three cases that we'll look at for linear functions. So if the slope is positive, again, that line is going upward from left to right because it is positive and not negative. And then additionally, um, the greater the value of m is, the steeper the slope will be. So for example, if we have a slope of two, maybe let's say this has a slope of two, then a slope of one half is not going to be as steep as that. So it's going to be closer to a horizontal line. So maybe something like that. All right. Whereas with um, negatives, same concept, but negative three um, is going to be much steeper than negative one as a slope. So if this is a slope of negative three, then a slope of negative one might be a little more close to a horizontal line. All right, but it's still negative. It's still going down from left to right. And then if the slope is zero again, it is just a horizontal line. So let's look at some of those comparisons in this um, example. So for example, if I have equation one here, this line right here, and that has a slope of two, and I compare it to equation two, which has a slope of one half, Notice that the two has a much steeper slope. So if you think about those as hills or like hiking, if you were to hike one of those, I would want to hike the blue one because that's not as steep as the red one, for example. So a positive steep slope would be like negative two, or I'm sorry, positive two. And then a positive moderate slope, so not as steep as two, would be an example of one half. Same concept with negative one half and negative two, um, but again, they're negatives. So the slope is going to be um, indicating that the line will be going down from left to right. So for example, um, this equation three has a slope of negative one half and equation four has a slope of negative two. So that negative two is a lot steeper. So coming down the hill, this is gonna be a lot steeper than uh, the green one. So negative two, the, essentially the more into the negatives you go, and that's a very general, informal, informal term, but the more negative you go um, on a number line for slope, the steeper that is going to be. And the same goes for positive. The more positive you go, and again, that's an informal term, the more positive you go. But the if you think about a number line with one half and two, two is further into the positive side of the number line. So it's going to be steeper than a number that's not as far into that number line. So just a couple quick reminders. Slope, remember, is um, telling you the steepness of the line. If we have a positive slope, it's going to be going up from left to right. Negative slope is down from left to right. And then zero is a horizontal slope. 
And then remember we compared a slope, for example, of two and one half. And the bigger the number, if you ignore the sign, essentially the bigger the number or the bigger the absolute value of that slope um, is going to be steeper. So this one is steeper than the slope of one half. Or if I was looking at a slope of negative three and a slope of negative one, the negative three is going to be steeper than the negative one. And if you ignore those negative signs, you can always think of um, whether it's positive or negative. If you're comparing two negatives, for example, ignore the negative sign. Three is bigger than one. It is steeper. Two and one half don't have negative signs that you need to ignore. They're just positive. But two and one half, two is bigger. It is steeper. So the bigger the absolute value, meaning ignore the positive or negative sign, it's just consider it positive, um, the steeper the line is going to be.